Hello everyone. Welcome to our educational channel. My name is Zetu. Today I would like us to talk about indication of cesarean section. Cesarean section is when the baby is delivered through surgical incision that is made in the abdomen and in the uterus. When the mother is pregnant, it is expected that the mother will deliver naturally or the mother will deliver normally. Normal delivery is when the mother delivers the baby vaginally without any assistant or without any intervention. Normal delivery starts when the mother starts feeling the labor pains or when the mother starts feeling contraction. As the mother is feeling contraction, the mother will be admitted in the labor room where the mother and the unborn baby will be monitored closely until the baby is delivered. Normal delivery go through stages. We have got stage one where there will be a dilatation of the cervix and the stage two will be the delivery of the baby and the stage three will be delivery of the placenta. This is what we call it normal labor and there was no problem the mother was monitored and the unborn baby was monitored con continuously until the baby is born it does happen during the labor period that there are some problems that can happen before the baby is born it does happen that the baby inside uh, the mother or the unborn baby start showing signs of distress. If the baby is showing signs of fetal distress, it means there is a problem that the baby is facing inside the mother's uh, uterus. But the mother is not yet ready is not yet fully dilated to deliver the baby. In that case, the mother will be taken for emergency cesarean section. What are the indications for emergency cesarean section? One of them is fetal distress. When the child shows that there is something that is happening. And the most common cause of fetal distress, you'll find that is the cord around the neck of the fetus. That is usually detected by monitoring the baby. You'll find that baby's heart rate is going down. Therefore, it means the child is struggling inside the mother's uterus but in that case that mother needs to be taken to operating theater for emergency cesarean section a second indication for emergency cesarean section is a cord prolapse as the mother and the baby is being monitored in the labor room you'll find that the cord can just come in front. That is another emergency because the cord is the one that the baby is getting all the oxygen and nutrients from the mother. Therefore, if there's any interference with the cord, definitely the baby is going to be affected. Therefore, if the patient will be rushed into operating theater to do a cesarean section. Another indication 
you will find that the mother is in labor, the baby or the fetus, unborn fetus is doing fine, but the cervix is not dilating. It is a problem even there and how that baby is going to come out because the cervix is supposed to dilate until it's fully dilated which is 10 centimeters and then it's open enough for the baby to come through but if the cervix is not dilating there is no way that that baby is going to come out therefore the mother will be taken for cesarean section another indication if there is any bleeding that can be noticed while you are monitoring the mother and the baby and you'll find that when you check the mother there's a uh, bleeding and you'll find that the, uh, the abdomen is becoming distended it means that mother is having placenta abruptio and placenta abruptio is a premature separation of the placenta. As I was talking about the stages, you deliver the baby first and then it will be the placenta. Now the danger is so bad when the placenta can separate before the baby is born. Then that mother will be taken to theater for an emergency cesarean section. And cesarean section can be done as an emergency, which is unplanned, or it can also be done as elective or planned cesarean section. What are the indications of planned or elective cesarean section? E a previous cesarean section is, uh, is indication number one. If the mother had cesarean section on the previous pregnancy, for sure the other pregnancy she has to follow with cesarean section. It is not safe for that mother who had previous cesarean section to be allowed to go normal delivery because if you are allowing that mother to go normal delivery, it means the uterus is going to contract and that uterus has got a scar already. There are scar, that scar during contraction, it can open up, which is a life-threatening emergency. Previous cesarean section is another indication now for elective cesarean section. Another indication, multiple pregnancy. If the mother is carrying more than one fetus, it is always advisable for that mother to be informed that he will go for cesarean section. It's safer that way for those children to be delivered through cesarean section. Another indication, abnormal implantation of the placenta. Normally, it's supposed to be the baby when the mother is pregnant, it's supposed to be the baby, the umbilical cord and the placenta. But you'll find that the placenta at times is not uh, implanted where it's supposed to be and the placenta is in the front and that one we call placenta previa. Those plus abnormal placenta is usually associated with bleeding. Therefore, the best way to avoid all those complications is to take that mother for elective cesarean section. Um, maternal health issues or maternal uh, conditions. If the mother is having uncontrolled hypertension, uncontrolled diabetes, or cardiac problem it is always advisable for that mother to be taken to theater for planned cesarean section because if you do take a risk of normal delivery 
while the mother is going through the labor process, the condition can be worse. And if the condition is worse to the mother, it's automatically worse to the baby. You'll find that you may end up losing the baby or you may end up losing the mother as well. Therefore, uncontrolled medical condition is another indication for elective caesarean section. Congenital uh, abnormalities. Congenital fetal abnormalities. If it has been diagnosed during pregnancy that the fetus has got some abnormalities, it is also advisable to uh, book that patient for elective caesarean section. An example of those uh, abnormalities uh, if the baby is having a hydrocephalus. Patients request that you cannot ignore because some patients, because they've been, especially the primer, they've been told that the labor is uh, not easy. You go through a lot of pain. Some patients will actually request to have cesarean section because they don't want to go through that pain or that unknown pain they must have had, but they don't want to go through. They rather go for cesarean section. And if the patient requests, they will their doctors will actually try to cancel the patient. But if the patient says he doesn't want normal delivery, therefore that patient will be taken for cesarean section. Uh, another indication of normal or bad obstetrical history. The mother uh, maybe had some bad obstetrical history, has been losing babies, or uh, there is a problem. He doesn't want to go through labor because of all the previous experience that he has encountered. And they, it is always advisable to take that mother for elective caesarean section. There are quite a lot of indications, but what is important is to make sure that we will do our best to make sure that we end up with a, a healthy baby and a healthy mother. But any problem that the patient may be having is also important for the patient to discuss with the doctor concerned so as to make sure that our outcome is a healthy baby and the healthy mother. Thank you so much for watching. For today, we will end up here. If you do like these short videos, please comment, please share and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and stay safe.